Happy Saturday, YouTube. Welcome back to Talking Out Loud, the channel that's all about helping you feel a little bit more normal. I'm Janae Mercer, and today we're gonna talk about my FODMAP shot, like bleh, bleh. We're gonna talk about my FODMAP food regime and my bloating journey and what's going on. So if you've been here for a while, you know I really struggle with bloating, and I went through all these tests with DNA Health Center and Dr. Nass, and he decided I should try going low FODMAP. Like going low FODMAP means you eat foods that don't ferment in your tummy. And they are foods that are healthy, or like they, they can be foods that are healthy, but in people with IBS or people who have digestive issues, those foods basically ferment and do funny stuff and make the bloating bad. So what we're working on right now is healing the inflammation, like healing the gut lining, and you do that through low FODMAP foods, and then you go back to just eating more normally. Now, I have been eating low FODMAP for 10 days, and oh my gosh, it's tricky. Like, it's so tricky and super limited, and the rules aren't very clear. So if you have this amount, it's okay. If you have this amount, it's not okay. And it's, it's confusing, it's not clear cut. It's not like no white food or only fruits and vegetables. So I tried by myself for the first four days and I was useless, I found it really difficult. Now I've enlisted the help of a company here in Dubai called Color My Plate. And they're a food delivery company but they specialize in people with like food allergies or you know if you're vegan or if you're intolerant to this or that. They can tailor things to exactly what you need. I'm actually pretty bloated today, but that's because yesterday I was off the meal plan and I just tried to do stuff myself and then last night I went out with a friend and you know ate restaurant food. Restaurant food is hard because you need to know what's in everything. And that brings me to the tricky elephant in the room, right? One of the reasons I've been a bit cautious talking about this on my Instagram is like for people who do have eating issues or body image issues, I would say like be incredibly careful with something like this, like incredibly careful. And definitely don't do it if you're just in recovery or if you're in a fragile space, because when you have to control your food this much, like that can be very, very triggering. And it's something I'm super conscious of. And one of the reasons why, like I went out to a dinner last night, you know, you just, you can't allow any food regime to restrict your normal life. Hi YouTube, it's been about a week since that last update and I thought I'd hop on here and give you another like what I'm eating in a day plus how is my bloating doing. So this is what my gut is looking like right now. Pop on up. So if I'm squeezing it in, it's kind of here. You can see it's still that underbelly bloat. If I let it loose, it's here. So there's definitely still bloating, but I think there's a few reasons for that. One, I was pretty like not on FODMAP this weekend and I had wine two nights ago and I was over at a friend's yesterday morning and just had breakfast with her. Even though I tried to like mostly eat FODMAP, I didn't want to like pull out my phone and use the app and I sort of found that embarrassing. But when I follow FODMAP, like when I follow what color my plate is sending me and eat exactly what they send me every day, my tummy is feeling really good. And I think that's the other thing to say and to note is even though I'm bloated, it's not hurting. And that's the whole reason I embarked on this journey was my bloat was getting really bad. Like it was waking me up at night and there was pain and there was discomfort. Right now, yeah, I'm a bit puffy, but it's not waking me up. Instead, I feel really good. I feel really strong. I feel really like fit. I feel really healthy. So an example of what I'm eating today, there's meatballs with some zoodles. There's chicken teriyaki, salads, some vegetables. The food that you can have on FODMAP is incredible. It's really delicious, but left to my own devices, I found it, I found it pretty complicated because I'm not a big cooker by myself. And so before I joined a meal plan, I was just eating like lactose-free yogurt in excess and then like deli meat, <laughs> which is just so bad. But I didn't know what else, I didn't know what to do. And I found it pretty overwhelming, like, cause I don't really cook that often. 
So that will be my next video is exploring some recipes that you can cook that are super IBS, bloating, gut health friendly and trying them. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to hit that like button, click subscribe, helps me buy my mischievous little monsters of kitty cats, all the fancy cat food, which then Kiki eats way too quickly and Koala gets very jealous. It's a bit of chaos. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Bye.